Uh, good morning, everyone. It's January 1st, and I'm coming down with a cold. And what's worse of it, I just realized that I have recreated Minecraft in JavaScript. Huh. Let me backtrack. Um, this is our 3D tool that we wrote ourselves. It gives a representation of the building I'm in and also displays my player positions. So you can see this here. Let me focus on this. This is a big project we're working on. Um, we have, I'd say, between one and 200 command blocks in this building to um, control the different aspects of our game that we invent. There's a video series out there that explains all that. Now, whenever Minecraft, um, the developers of Minecraft update the syntax of commands, for example, we have to go in there and fix them, which is a pain in the behind. Anyway, um, I was talking to my buddy the other day, saying that we probably need some sort of an inventory so that we can look quickly look up where is all the command blocks in this building that we need to uh, update. And then it just occurred to me, you know what, this 3D map you're looking at right now, this displays my player position within the building. Um, this 3D map contains all the chunk data block by block that make up this building, which is why you can see that at the very beginning, when I bring up this map, you see this chunk loading bar. And this is exactly what it does. Let me show this again. So I bring up the tower. Now it loads all the chunks. Uh, let me rotate this because this is a 3D application. Let me um, quickly switch on Ajax, which is my position tracking. And then let's focus on, on my avatar. Um, I'm in creative mode. This is why it's displayed like this. Uh, if I go into survival mode, it will just show it in my regular. Uh, anyway, that's what I need creative mode. I'm sorry, I'm not thinking too clearly. I'm really coming down with the cold here, I think. Right. Uh, I just realized that, you know what? I can use this 3D map as my own inventory because it has all the block information in there. So I quickly wrote little function to display blocks of a certain type in a color of my choosing and this will basically display all the blocks for example this one here i want to see where's all my command blocks and let's the command block with that it's usually solid orange so let's do that all right here we go so as you can see it has now added all the command blocks in orange color to my 3d map and because i have position tracking on, I can just go wherever I want to update a command block. So for example, this one here, this is our espresso machine. This gives you a, a status boost. Yeah, there's a, there's a command block here and I, in my creative mode, I could now access it and debug it. And the same goes for, I can do the same thing with, for example, repeating command blocks. There's, I think they're green. So here we go. And the same for, I think, chain command blocks. Uh, that's let's add them in yellow all right yeah here we go so i have all my command blocks in the building now at my disposal and because this function i just wrote also gives me a count i can say that we have 171 command blocks we have 143 repeating and 286 chain command blocks so that's well over 500 command blocks we have within the building Lucky for us, I don't have to have an inventory now with 3D coordinates so that I can look them up, but I can basically just wander around the tower, see my player position, where's the next command block that I have to update. I don't know. Um, probably an over-engineered solution for a trivial problem, but I still think this looks rather cool. And now I'm off to bed. I have to get healthy again. Thank you so much.